previously. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Okay. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Uh. Uh. Easy, you They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. <laughs> Big things pop in, little things stop I want to go over in. Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. It is. Trust me. You know the future. Dr. Amro doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Oh, I'm gonna have some choices now, aren't I? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. Oh. I could only trust one of them. Are you serious? I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. <sighs> All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. Nah, get out of here. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. Then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Man, you know, this game is definitely not straightforward. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to go with Hatch. I think I'm going to go with Hatch. Let's see. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date whoa, is good or not, whoa. we can't deviate Why from that. Why is he doing that? Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. <laughs> Hatch, you're really a traitor. Oh my God, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. We didn't have an idea on her. Until now. 
Beth Wilder. Why is things freaking out? She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but we won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out. Is that normal? Is he supposed to be like freaking out like that? Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. Huh? Oh. Whoa. She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Yeah, Hatch. Hatch is the other one. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amara. That made you priority one. Yeah. They made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? <sighs> I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. So guys, I'm just going to give you guys an update on the episode that I just watched. So Hatch, uh, Serene's right hand man, has his own agenda. Um, uh, you know, I made the choice to to um, side with Hatch, but yeah, he has his own agenda. He's he's got his own plan. Either way, um, and Burke. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember Burke. Um, he doesn't. He hasn't appeared much in the game, um, but he's appeared quite a bit in the series uh, at the beginning. He's the guy with the, I think he's the guy with the wife and child. So he almost got killed. Ah man, some crazy things happening. But anyway, Hatch. Yeah, Hatch has his own agenda. He tried to. Uh, he tried to trick Serene into thinking that the doctor had Gotta been get the. the person behind the tr you know the tr being basically being a traitor um, and he almost succeeded he 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 tried to I'm looking at the bridge right now it's oh. a lot of monarch I don't know maybe you could sneak across well maybe or I could pick you up let me know I'm pretty exposed out here so try to make it fast I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. That was Dr. Amaral. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. So, yeah. And remember, I don't know if you guys remember when I said about... What the hell was that? It's like an after image. About Dr. Kim. A do uh, yeah, a guy called Better Dr. Get inside Kim. The chopper spots me. Um, basically what <sighs> happens is... What? The actual fuck. What happens is too much chrono exposure, as Serene is experiencing, makes you extremely violent. And the first guy to go violent was Dr. Kim. And they've got, they had him anyway, cooped up in the lab, uh, contained. So that's. There? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. That's what Serene is going to end up being an extremely volatile, violent individual. Um, and that's why he needs the cures that the doctor had been giving him so he really needs the doctor basically oh. so we don't know where he is what we can't uh we can't find him so we need to look into a you know a uh a replacement what <laughs> i'm not even going to Ask what the hell that was. Is this the viewpoint? We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah. 
about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be some people caught in crossfire. All right. Any other ideas? Wow. Public uh, is not happy. See. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Don't worry, I won't. Okay, how are we getting down there? Where's the fire pole? Wow. Bastards. Things are not good. Oh! Oh! They're getting out of their cars. What the hell? Some asshole from Lucky Joe's won't let us search his truck. You heard Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it. Copy. You guys are actually gonna shoot the civvies? The civvies? <laughs> the civvies. Oh, goodness. Thanks, dude. You bastard. Enemy spotted. Shit. I'm out. Wow. Do the dance, bruh. Do the dance. Oh, come on. How much do I need to freaking reload up in here? Come on! Okay, let's get into the light machine. Nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hunt him down. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh. oh, it's one of those guys. <laughs> that sounds amazing as usual. Oh. Jeez. 
What? Whoa! <laughs> Guys, the best way to play this game is with headphones. My goodness. <laughs> Jeez, this is ridiculous. I sounded freaking crazy. Ah. My goodness. You guys actually fired. I'm really shocked, actually. I'll take the head. Thank you. I'm gonna disarm all of you so you can't shoot no, no back. Oh, I saw something here. Is this is actually the way I'm supposed to be going. Ah, I guess so. Whoa, whoa! I'm freaking out. Here we go. Ah, you again? Uh, not necessary, man. We we'll meet again. Oh, you guys aren't actually ah. Uh. Seem a bit slow, bruh. Come on, come on. Okay. Okay, good. Just gotta make the cross stay original and clear. Okay. How so? How so indeed they are. Yeah, just give me everything. Yeah, but guys, definitely, if you guys are going to play this, which I definitely recommend, you should play it with headphones. The sound design is absolutely amazing. Oh, this isn't going to turn out well, is it? I know what's coming. I've seen the trailer. Look at those birds. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful birds. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where you at, man? Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this. Oh. oh no. This is so bad. <laughs> I knew I'd be dead just like the, uh... in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid what? ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just had to find a way Jeez. down. A way down. Huh? What the hell? Oh! <laughs> 
Oh man. Whoa. What? <laughs> Sorry guys. I, I just get really excited about stuff like this. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to be going? So we're going across there. That was a room. That was like the mess. worst time. Somehow I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Yeah, you'll be fine. What? No, wrong thing. Towards the cargo ship. Sound design. Yes. Whoa. How would how are they able to do that, man? This is definitely experience. Exactly oh my gosh. Look at that. And now we're moving this whole freaking ship. Fracture was getting I dying, I dying. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync, crashing into each other. This was what the end of time was. Wow, wow. Everything was broken. Okay. Yeah, Chaos. everything is broken. Frozen. Wow. No, no. Come on, come on, come on. What the hell is whoa? Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. Chase! You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. <laughs> time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. He's or not gonna help. You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. <laughs> Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Please, you ain't gonna shoot her. Jack, wow. before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Oh, okay. Travel to 20, yeah, okay. 2010. Okay, what's up, jo okay. Joyce? What's up? What it's Joyce? about the plan. Beth. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, 
In the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Huh. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. All right, then, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Oof, things are really starting to ramp up in this game. Uh, please do subscribe, comment, and like. I uh, guess we'll see you in the next episode of Quantum Break. And don't forget, keep being awesome. Alex, come on, just no. try to... You think you can control me? Clarissa. What? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. You're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit.